in the year 2019 uh, question number 4 section C there is a sum for a house property what is the sum C Sain is the owner of two houses particulars of which are given below uh, the two houses one in Kolkata and another at Durgapur houses used for that is let out both are let out municipal value it uh, we will be assumed that it is a gross municipal value and it is and it is uh, rupees 1 lakh for the house 1 and rupees 60,000 for the house 2 fair rent is also given fair rent is uh, 1 lakh 20,000 for house 1 and 70,000 for house 2 annual rent that means 12 months rent is uh, 1 lakh 32,000 for house 1 and 90,000 for house 2 and vacancy for the house 1 is 2 months and house 2 is 1 month what we have to do we have to calculate gross annual value of the two houses now how we calculate what is the method just watch it now uh, what we have to write as a heading first we have to write the name of the SSC name of the SSC is uh, C Sain computation of gross annual value we are calculating here gross annual value so we, we have to mention gross annual value for the assessment year 2022-23 relating to the previous year 2021-22 here in the question it is not given what is the previous year and what is the assessment year in that case you have to write your relevant previous year and your relevant assessment year now for calculation of gross annual value we have to make amount column for each house here it is two house so I have done two column for I have drawn two column for amount one is for house one another is for house two now how we have to calculate there are three steps for calculation of annual value in first step gross municipal value is given for house 1 and house 2 and fair rent that is 1 lakh 20,000 for house 1 and 70,000 for house 2 now we have to come to at step 2 in case of step 2 first we have to calculate reasonable expected rent and what is that that is the higher of the step step 1 if there is standard rent then the method is another but here standard rent is not given so we have to take the higher of gross municipal value and fair rent so in case of house 1 reasonable expected rent is 1 lakh 20,000 because gross municipal value is 1 lakh and fair rent is 1 lakh 20,000 so in case of house 1 gross municipal value is 1 lakh and fair rent is 1 lakh 20,000 so higher of that 2 is rupees 1 lakh 20,000 so reasonable expected rent for house 1 is rupees 1 lakh 20,000 in case of house 2 gross municipal value is 60,000 and fair rent is 70,000 so higher of the 2 is fair rent that is 70,000 so that will be taken as reason reasonable expected rent so reasonable expected rent for house 2 is 70,000 now annual rent annual rent is given in the question and annual rent means 12 months rent that is 1 lakh 32,000 and 90,000 in case of step 3 if there is no vacancy then the higher of step 2 will be the gross annual value but here there is some vacancy period for both the houses so first we have to calculate what is the uh, highest amount of step 2 so in case of step 3 first higher of step 2 that is 1 lakh 32,000 for house 1 because annual rent rupees 1 lakh 32,000 is higher than reasonable expected rent and in case of house 2 there is also annual rent is higher than reasonable expected rent of rupees 70,000 so we take the uh, higher of step 2 that is 1 lakh 32,000 and 90 to 90,000 for house 1 and house 2 respectively now 
we have to calculate what will be the loss due to vacancy for calculation of loss due to vacancy we have to make some workings in case of house 1 annual rent is given in the question rupees 132000 so 12 months rent is rupees 132000 divided by 2 we will get 1 month rent and multiplied by 2 because vacancy period is 2 months we get 22000 this is the loss due to vacancy for house 1 and for house 2 there is a vacancy period of 1 month so annual rent of rupees 90000 will be divided by 12000 which is sorry 12 because it is a 12 month period rent so 90000 is divided by 12 and we will get 7500 as a vacancy loss for house 2 now what we have to do we have to deduct this loss due to vacancy from house 1 step 3 and from house 2 7500 22000 for house 1 and 7500 for house 2 so 132000 reduced by loss due to vacancy of rupees 20000 it will come rupees 110000 that is the gross annual value for house 1 and in case of house 2 there is a loss due to vacancy rupees 7500 it reduced the higher of step to 90000 and it comes rupees 82500 this is the gross annual value of house 1 and house 2 next question that is question number 5 uh, uh, Rajiv Shah is the owner of two houses at Durgapur that means houses the uh, houses were situated at Durgapur the details of which for the previous year 2019-20 uh, this uh, information is given for the previous year 2019-20 are as under what are those house 1 and house 2 used for house 1 used for tenants business and house 2 used for own residence house 1 that is used for tenants business that means that house is let out and the tenant is using that house for his business purpose municipal value of the both the houses given one is 150000 for house 1 and house 2 120000 fair rent 180000 and 144000 for the both houses standard rent is there standard rent for house one that is for the house which is used for tenants business rupees 160000 and for the house two is 130000 annual rent that means 12 months rent for house one that is 240000 and house two there is no annual rent because the house is used for self residence purpose now vacancy for house 1 that is a let out house so there is a vacancy for 2 months and municipal tax rate is given that is 10% 10% for house 1 and 10% for house 2 and interest on loan is 35,500 for house 1 and 44,000 for house 2 and it is given that information that loan is taken for construction of house property it is very much important because in case of self-occupied house there is a limit of interest on loan for self-occupied house what you have to do you have to compute income from house property of Rajiv Shah now look here the question marks is separated as 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 that means uh, 4 up to 4 that is for the purpose of gross annual value next one marks is for net annual value or municipal tax next 1 and 1 this is for standard deduction and interest on loan and last one number 1 is income from first house and number plus 2 plus 2 is given for the second house that is for uh, annual value and for the interest on loan and income from that house now how to do this sum we will check that now this is the heading what is the heading first we have to write the name of the SSE that is Mr. Rajiv Shah second heads of income his heads of income is income from house property 
previous year you have to write here the pre uh, pre relevant previous year that is 2019-20 given in the question and assessment year that is relevant for that previous year 2020-21 this is for that pre previous year in case of you your relevant previous year is 2021-22 but the que in this question it is given that previous year 2019-20 and assessment year 2020-21 now first we have to compute the gross annual value for the house one you may compute this in the main sum or you may compute it in as a working note now i have draw, draw here i have uh, drawn here three amount column for more than your one house you have to draw three amount column for the second column we use for gross annual value and net annual value now i have done the gross annual value as a working note here is the working note gross annual value for the house one step one in step one gross municipal value is given in the question that is 150000 fair rent given in the question that is 180000 and standard rent is 160000 step two we have to compute the reasonable expected rent and what is that that is the higher of gmp and fair rent subject to maximum of standard rent. Now look at here GMV is 1,50,000 and fair rent is 1,80,000. So higher of these two is 1,80,000 but it cannot exceed the standard rent. Here standard rent is 1,60,000 so we have to take standard rent as a reasonable expected rent. Next that is annual rent. Annual rent is also given in the question that is rupees 2,40,000. So, in case of step 3, we have to take the higher of this reasonable expected rent and annual rent and the higher is higher portion is 2,40,000. Next, we have to calculate what is the loss due to vacancy. Now, in question it is given that vacancy period is for 2 months. Now, annual rent is 2,40,000. So, 2,40,000 is the 12 months periods rent. If we want to know what is the one month period rent, then we have to divide this by 12 and for the vacancy period, 2 months rent is multiplied by 2, this is 40,000 and loss due to vacancy reduce the higher of step 2 that is 2 lakh, this is the gross annual value. So, in main paper, in main sum, I have, been I have taken this gross annual value here. And it is a working note. What is the work, uh, which number of working note uh, we compute the gross annual value? It is mentioned here. Next is municipal tax. Now, in question, it is given that municipal tax is 10 percent. Now, what munis 10 percent of what? Municipal tax is always calculated on municipal value of that house. Now, municipal value of that house was rupees one lakh fifty thousand. So municipal tax so calculated is MV into 10 percent that is 1 lakh 50 thousand into 10 percent it is 1 lakh 50 thousand. So gross annual value is reduced by municipal tax 15 thousand that is 1 lakh 85 thousand this is the net annual value. After that <coughs> we have to give some deduction there are two deduction here o one is standard deduction that is a 30 percent of net annual value and 1 lakh 85 thousand is the net annual value. So, 30 percent of that is 55,500 and second part is interest on loan and interest on loan is given in the question is 35,500 and there is no maximum limit for let out house property. So, entire interest on loan taken for can construction of the house is deductible. So, after adding this two deduction we get 91,000 and from the net annual value we deducted this total deduction of 91,000. This 94,000 is the deducted value. So, this 94,000 will come in third column that is the income from first house. Now, house 2 which is own residence. So, annual value of self occupied house under section 23 subsection 2 is nil. We know that if a house is used by the proprietor for his own residential purpose. Annual value need not to be calculated 
annual value of that house property is nil and it is mentioned under the section 23 sub subsection 2. Now there is only one deduction in case of self occupied house property, no other deduction is there that means municipal tax will not be deducted here and no standard deduction is there for deduction, only one deduction is there that is deduction for interest on loan under section 24 clause B that is 44,000 given in the question that means income from the second house is the negative 44,000. This is within bracket means negative 44,000. You can write minus 44,000 also. So, income from first house is 94,000 and income for second house is minus 44,000. That means total income from house property for Mr. Rajiv Shah is rupees 50,000. 94,000 minus 44,000 that is 50,000 is the total income from house property of Mr. Rajiv Another question is there for question number 5 that is also for income from house property in the year 2022. Uh, we are uh, doing the sums of 2022 not 2019. Now there is also two house and construction completed on first house is 31-5-2002. And for second house is 31-12-2000. Use for first house is tenant's residence and house 2 is for own residence. Now here municipal value is given for both the houses. Fair rent is also given. Municipal tax is mentioned here. Rent received. Here it is given rent received that is rupees 1,20,000. And interest on loan is 35,000 and 42,000. Here mentioned that loan has been taken for the construction of house 1 and house 2 before 1st April 1999. Compute the income from house property of Mr. Aljit Kaur for the assessment year 2020-21. This is the question. Uh, that means you have to remember that loan is taken before 1-4-1999. First, uh, so uh, this is the sum number 5 or uh, first we have to write heading here assessee is Mr. Ajit Kaur, heads of income is income from house property, previous year mentioned in the question that is 2019-20 and assessment year mentioned in the question this is 2020-21. Two houses are there so we have to draw three amount column. House 1 that is for tenant business. Now here standard rent is not given. So we can take uh, gross annual value as the higher of municipal value, fair rent and annual rent. If standard rent is not mentioned, you can do in this way for calculation of gross annual value that is the higher of municipal value, fair rent and annual rent. Now municipal value is given in the question that is rupees 1,20,000, fair rent is given rupees 1,50,000 and annual rent is 1,20,000. So gross annual value is higher of the above 3 and the higher amount is 1,50,000 that is fair rent that will be taken as gross annual value. Municipal tax is given in the question that is rupees 12,000. So net annual value is 150000 minus 12000 that is 138000 next deduction under section 24 standard deduction under section 24a that is at the rate of 30% of net annual value now here net annual value is 138000 so 30% of 138000 that is 41400 is the standard deduction and interest on loan given in the question is rupees 35000 and loan is taken for repair, so not, not repair, loan is taken before 1st April, 1st April 1999, it is mentioned in the question. But for the let out property, there is uh, no maximum limit. So entire amount of interest loan on loan that is rupees 35,000 is deductible. So 41,400 and 35,000, these are the two deductions. 
and these are added here and transferred to column number 2 and it is 76,400. So net annual value is 138,000 and total deduction is 76,400 and amount of income from house 1 or income from first house is 61,600. Now house number 2 which is used for own residence annual value under section 23 subsection 2 here is also nil because uh, any house which is used for self occupation annual value th of that house is always be nil deduction under section 24b no other deduction is available here no municipal tax deduction no um, standard deduction only one deduction is there for annual uh, uh, for uh, self occupied house that is for interest on loan but here loan is taken before 1499 and it, this is a self occupied house so maximum limit of deduction is there and maximum limit of deduction is rupees 30000 so though interest on loan is given in the question rupees 42000 but mr ajit kaur will uh, uh, receive uh, 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 only rupees 30,000 is deductible from here because this, this is the maximum um, limit of interest on loan that is 30,000 so negative 30,000 is the income from second house so total income from house property for Mr. Ajit Kaur is 31,600.